The CDC just approved a new COVID booster shot that's not only effective against the old strains of coronavirus, but also the new subvariants. I sat down with San Diego County's deputy public health officer to talk about who's eligible for the new booster and where you can get them. I wanted to first of all ask you, um, the FDA just approved a new COVID vaccine to sort of help combat the Omicron variant. Um, what can you tell us about this new vaccine and who should go out and get it? Yes. Yeah, so the COVID-19 bivalent vaccine is a vaccine that is geared towards, um, when we say bivalent, two viruses or two parts of a virus um, antigens. So this particular vaccine, which is a booster shot, is for um, individuals, well, it's for um, the original strain and the Omicron variant. We know that people who received vaccination with the original COVID-19 vaccines, whether that was mRNA vaccine or any of the other vaccines that are available, um, do have some protection against COVID-19, which includes that original strain. But we did see a surge in cases back in December as well as in July. Um, and this was mostly related to the Omicron variant, which is the majority of the cases that we continue to see. So this new COVID booster not only targets the original vaccine, which will boost what individuals already received when they receive their primary series, but it will also give them additional protection to the Omicron variant, which I think is really important knowing that the Omicron variant was more infectious than even what we were seeing with the original strain. And so we really wanna just encourage individuals and anyone over the age of 12 um, and up is eligible for the vaccine. There are two, there is the Pfizer uh, bivalent vaccine and there's the Moderna vaccine. Moderna is for 18 and older. So if you already received a booster, um, that was for the original strain, and now we're encouraging everyone to go ahead and get this additional booster. They're available um, at the county uh, vaccination sites, and they're also available at pharmacies, um, and you can check with your local physician to get a vaccine. And I know um, there had been some issues with the My Turn website, which is run by the state, of course, the state public health department. Um, do you know if that's been resolved or if right now most people, if they want to go get a vaccine or sorry, a booster at the um, county clinics, it's just walk up right now? Yeah, the state is still working on My Turn. And of course, you know, technology is what it is. Um, and so you can just do walk up uh, at the county sites for vaccination. I also know that pharmacies, our local pharmacies are available and are accepting individuals to also just come and either make an appointment through their systems or walk into their um, pharmacies to receive a vaccine. And I don't know if you know the answer to this, but initially, um, you know, the state sort of unveiled uh, this whole program to try to encourage people to go get the new booster. I even heard about it on the radio when I was driving here to come interview you. Um, but there was a little bit of confusion about whether those um, boosters were only going to be available through healthcare systems and, you know, pharmacies, like you mentioned, or also at county clinics. Um, are you guys receiving? stuff from the state stockpile and are people actually going and use, uh, using the boosters that you're getting or are they not being utilized? Yes, people are definitely going out to county vaccination sites. Um, we do receive, how vaccine allocation works is California Department of Public Health will receive an allotment from the federal government and then they'll distribute to each of the counties. LA County receives vaccine independently of um, from the directly from the federal government. Um, but all the other counties received directly from California Department of Public Health. And so we did receive an allotment of vaccination for COVID-19 boosters. And we're actually almost out of one of the uh, vaccines. So we'll continue to receive allotments from CDPH and continue to make those available at county sites. Do you know which one? Is it the Pfizer or the- Moderna. Moderna is the one that's, run, that's running out? Yes. Okay. And do you have any indication of when the new uh, allotment's going to come in? We receive um, vaccinations from the, the from CDPH on a weekly basis, so we should definitely have some more next week. And of course, um, as soon as the federal government sends it, we and we receive it from CDPH, we push it right out. After the break, we're going to be talking about Proposition 28. We'll be right back.